So I've been uh, wanting to make this video kind of document my transition back to aviation after a long hiatus, I guess you'd say. Um, it's been, I think, 24 years since uh, I was last active in uh, aviation and, and flying uh, semi-regularly or regularly. Um, and I think like so many pilots, you know, you just... Uh, you don't see that happening to you and then you know next thing you know you haven't been for a month and two months and then you're not current and you know life happens and and then uh here you go then it's been five years and ten years and unbelievably it's been this long um you know over the over the years i've uh started to get current again and taken a flight here and there and um, you know, it just hasn't hasn't worked out with my uh, busy life and schedule and other hobbies and 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 just life and family and it just hasn't worked. So um, after years of uh, talking about getting current and talking with my wife and reading the magazines and you know, I've uh, I came to a to a time where it was either you need to do this or, or stop talking about it. And uh, my wife 100% agreed, uh, do it or just stop talking. So, you know, I, I looked around, I, I, I looked uh, last year, I, I took a couple flights with a, a local um, flight instructor at a local airport. And, uh, you know, I don't know what it was about it. It just uh, didn't click with me. And, you know, I got busy and, and then, you know, fast forward another year um, you know, my medical, I still have my medical. And so I started researching, you know, uh, other, other solutions or other flight schools or something I could do that had like a rusty pilot program and accelerated learning or less rusty pilot program, something that where I could just dive in and, and just knock this out, um, you know, with like a week of, uh, classwork and flying and, and just get it done. So, um, I have a friend that, uh, went out to a flight school in Minnesota and he got, uh, his finished his private pilot license. And that was a motivator for me. And, and, you know, he recommended them. I, I gave him a call out at 360 aviation in Albert Lee, Minnesota, and, you know, kind of told him what I was looking to do. And they said, yeah, we'd love to put a program together for you. And, you know, let us know some dates that work for you and when you can come out and, uh, We'll, we'll get it taken care of. So, you know, right from there, I started checking flights in my schedule and talked to my wife and, you know, I blocked a week off and then in a couple of weeks out and uh, made the trip out to Albert Lee, Minnesota from uh, Bangor, Maine, where, where I'm at. So, you know, it wasn't too bad. Albert Lee's about uh, one hour drive south of Minneapolis so it's not too bad and a lot of little hotels and anyway I just got to dive right in and uh, it was a pretty good experience for me you know not only was I transitioning um, or uh, flying getting current again and relearning things and it was uh, also transitioning to a G1000 cockpit which the flying club that I'm a part of here in Maine um, has um, is what I'll be flying up here. And, uh, anyhow, so that was, uh, that was interesting as well. And, you know, it's weird. It, it really hasn't been the flying that's been a problem getting back into. It's the, it's just the procedural stuff and everything that's changed. The last time I was flying, you know, before a flight, I would walk into the flight service center here and in, in uh, next to general aviation and uh, get my weather briefing and, and and that's kind of all changed that's now a state patrol office and and uh, weather briefings are best had online or on your phone apparently so anyway um you know a lot's changed uh, a lot for the good um my paper charts are long expired but you know i'm definitely going to have the backup in my bag and you know that's been one of the hard things is uh, you know just having different stuff with you in the cockpit you know whether it's a iphone or an ipad and um you know gps receivers and just all kinds of stuff and the flow of it <clears throat> so you know it's uh it's 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 been weird but the only thing i haven't done and which is what i'm gonna do today is i've 
got uh, you know a number of hours with instructors and came back to Maine and have a couple of flights with the flight instructor from our flying club getting checked out in this 172 um, S that has the G1000 avionics and but I haven't been up by myself so you know we're 24 years uh, without a solo and that's gonna happen today hopefully if this morning fog uh, burns off and allows me uh, to get out you know I just need to <laughs> knock this out because the anticipation you know as the time goes on you know my last flight was a week and you know I'm pretty confident I just I just need to do this so um, wanted to take people on this journey that might be in the same situation that I'm in and uh, you uh, you know there's options out there and for me it was an accelerated program where I could just dive right in and 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 do this um, you know I uh, one thing uh, I wanted to mention was you know I didn't know if I would enjoy flying like I used to and you know I was a different guy when I was flying in my mid to early to mid to late 20s you know it's been a long time and you know I'm a different guy with different hobbies and uh, you know would I enjoy it as much so that was a concern of mine and you know I, I really enjoy golf and I put a lot of time into golf and you know I still um, anticipate playing a lot of golf so uh, you know that was a question I had for people you know can you have can you continue to be a safe pilot and have other hobbies on, on outside of that and the answer is yes it's just about balance and you know I'll uh, see where this where this journey takes me but I wanted to you know get it done and if I don't enjoy flying like I used to and you know maybe I you know don't stay current and, and let it slip away again at least you know I'm not gonna look back later in life and and always say geez I wish I, I wish I would have but right now I can tell you I, I'm looking forward to it um, I actually canceled a golf match I was gonna play this morning uh, to take this flight so I'm really hoping this uh, fog burns off here shortly and uh, and I can get up there so uh, 360 Aviation, Albert Lee, Rusty Pilot Program. They'll put something together for you. Um, and uh, talk to you later. Thanks.